Hi everyone and welcome back to Civilization 6 as Canada. So we are going to do a Canada game properly, hopefully nothing will break this time. And I actually decided to check out Small Continents map. I saw some comments saying that the Seven Seas map generates too much land and I'd like to check out the Small Continents map anyway. Alright, let's get started then, shall we? Pretty much everything else is same as before, but this time I'm playing with no mods whatsoever. I literally just unsubscribed from all the mods I had. Alright, let's get started. And we'll take a look around as usual. Is this a hill? No, that's not a hill. Well, we could move onto a hill and then settle a directly coastal city. However, we will not have fresh water then, which is definitely not a good thing. Yeah, probably best if we settle on spot. We can check the lens really quick. Yeah, I definitely want fresh water. Let's just settle right here, it's fine. This isn't actually too bad. We got copper, we got deer. I'll take it. And we got rice in range. Alright then, so first we'll start from a builder to get that craftsmanship boost and improve our tiles, and then animal husbandry to reveal horses and unlock pastures and camps. So let's take a look around. We got sheep over there, but that's a little bit too far away. Not a whole lot of tundra around here, but we got desert and the first city-state. Nice, and we were the first ones to make contact with them. So that literally almost doubled my science output. <laughs> Which isn't saying much when it went from 2.7 to 4.7, but still, that's a nice increase on turn 4? Something like that. Mysticism boost? That's not exactly the most useful boost of all times. There are no in, in fact, it's pretty much useless, but whatever. Alright, so next up, let's grab mining because we'll need that to improve the copper which we definitely want to do. And another city-state. We only need one more for the boost. A cultured city-state. And we also got an envoy, very nice. I only need one more envoy in Bologna to become a suzerain. And that was the sound of a barbarian come spawning. Right here. Hey, maybe the city-state will help us with that. That would be nice. And we got two horses in range of our capital. This is a very nice start so far, especially with the city-states. Okay, next up we'll grab a slinger, because barbarians, and also archery boss. Now we can pick up a discipline, as well as god king. I'm quite liking this start. And yeah, the city-state will help us with the barbarian. Next up, craftsmanship, because that will be boosted soon enough. And I might actually buy the two tiles to get rice. In a hole. Uh, also, I would like to actually kill this dude. If I attack him right now, we might not actually kill him. But if I don't attack him, the two city-state warriors will almost certainly kill him. Yep, we didn't. Because the preview isn't entirely accurate, it's just an estimation. Oh well, he will go down. That's fine. One more pasture, and then we'll get the copper. Or, no, hold on. We should definitely improve the rice, because we need that for irrigation boost. The problem is I need more gold to actually buy two tiles, or I need my territory to expand towards the rice. Anyway, next up, we can get started on archery. I could try to get a quick holy site to try getting a religion, but if we want to try getting a religion, we would really have to rush that holy site right away, right now. I can try. I'm just not entirely convinced it's going to work. But we can give it a shot. I hope I'm not going to regret that, because the downside is that I will be quite far behind in science. There's no way around it. If you get a holy site first before a campus, you will fall behind in science. Compared to if we build a campus first. That's just how it works. There's literally no way around it. You will get science slower. Anyway, next up, settler. 
to start more cities. We still haven't found any AIs, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Right, and I need a barbarian to kill to get my archery boost. Now, I could switch astrology to something else and wait to discover a natural wonder, but there's literally no guarantee we will even find a natural wonder in any predictable future. There's zero guarantee. I could still switch, but yeah, it's random. We don't know where natural wonders are. Without craftsmen. We could discover one on the next turn, or we could not discover any for the next 50 turns. There's literally no way to know, and I have zero control over that. If we want to try getting a religion, we just need to finish astrology. But that's one of the things that affects it. If I discovered a natural wonder already, I could get started on a holy side right now, on turn 18. But since I haven't, I don't have the boost, and I can't get started on it for another four turns. And four turns could easily make a difference between being able to start a religion or failing to get it. Next up, foreign trade. Alright, yeah, we will finish astrology, because like I said, I have zero control over whether I will discover a natural wonder or not. Absolutely none. 75 gold. Hey, that makes up for not getting the barbarian camp. Yep, still no natural wonder. I don't believe in There's astrology. Okay, I will finish the settler, obviously. And then we can get started on a holy site. And we'll research the wheel. I probably won't be switching foreign trade to anything else either. Oh, nice, third city-state. And that's political philosophy boost. Because, yeah, we need to discover the second continent to boost foreign trade, and there's no guarantee we'll find one in the near future. It could be somewhere close, it could be very far away. So, no, I'm not going to wait for that. It's only three turns, it's not really a big deal. Three turns is nothing. And now holy side. So probably best if we buy this tile right here. It's only 27 gold anyway. Alright, let's do that. Six turns is not too bad. I really hope we will actually get a religion. Because if this fails, that will be a bit of a waste. We will still have uses for faith, but... I would prefer to actually get a religion if we are going with holy side first. Moderate Flood. Alright then. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. We can probably work that. Well, no, first let's finish the holy side, shall we? Just a few more turns, and then we can maybe switch some tile assignments. Where do we settle the next city? Probably somewhere close to the volcano. And in the tobacco range. Let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking right here. It will be slightly out of range of the spices, which I don't like too much. But we'll just settle another city further to the west. And get the spices that way. So hold on, where exactly do we want that city? Probably right here, because then we'll have the deer in range. And we'll still have the tobacco in range. And I will also have stone in range. Yeah, that looks reasonable. So, right here, where the slinger is. Alright, there's foreign trade. And give me my city. So, first monument. And the holy site is almost done. Is anyone already getting great profit points? Nobody just yet. Okay, that's a good sign. We might be able to get that religion. Would be nice. Early empire next. Can we get that boosted? We need six population. We probably can? Uh, yeah, I'm guessing we can. I might have to switch to something else for a bit. But I'm pretty sure we can do that. So just keep the slinger inside. For now. Still haven't met any AIs. There's state workforce boost. And now we should probably get that monument and maybe a trader. Oh yeah, and also a shrine, because that's plus one 
great profit point per turn. If we want that great profit, then we obviously need more great profit points. Sometimes That's the entire you. point. And that was the sound of a barbarian camp spawning, right here. We can go get it. Would be nice to get that archery boost. I certainly wouldn't mind. And pottery, about time to research that. Alright, let's go check out the barbarians. Maybe a good idea to heal up the warrior first. Next. So now we can switch from early empire to something else. And now actually we need like one more turn. Yep. So, a spearman, pretty much what I expected. Come on now. And we can choose our pantheon. Not quite sure what it should be. Oh, maybe culture from pastures, because we got quite a few. We got two pastures already. We got several more potential pastures near Halifax. And even more pastures to the west. I like it, let's get pastures. Here. Alright then. So plus one population. Oh yeah, here's early empire. And now we can research something else. Bronze working. Or writing, because obviously I will need a campus. Not sure if we'll meet another AI in the near future. But I can't just delay the campus. And just because we started from a holy site Under doesn't mean we won't be building a campus. And there's a natural wonder. It was actually kind of close. Well, alright. That was just bad luck. It was like the two coastal tiles I haven't discovered. Now, we need an actual kill with the slinger. So attack with the warrior first. And then with the slinger. The downside is that I won't actually destroy the camp myself. But I needed the archery boost. So I needed the kill with a slinger. Oh no! The city stadiums didn't claim the camp. Sure, that also gives us military tradition boost. Nice. Okay then. Now I could switch writing to something else, but I don't think I'm going to. A monument time, obviously. We kind of need that by now. And I might even buy a builder. Because it will take too long to just recruit a builder otherwise. Yeah, 215 is not that much, we can afford it. We got the gold. And we want the pastures, obviously. Now that we picked the pantheon, that's plus free culture. From the cows in range. And we'll probably want this city fairly early, it's going to be a pretty good one. Right, let's just finish writing. Oh, never mind! So there's writing, boss. That's Spain. Okay then, that was very convenient timing. And the volcano eruption. That is a good thing, because it will boost the tiles. That is a very good thing. So let's improve this one right away. It's two food, one hammer. Well, I actually still prefer the pastures. Wait, did it destroy the cow? Oh, it actually destroyed one. Okay. That's interesting. How much gold to buy that tile to the south? Oh, it will expand on its own. Let's get that one and then we'll consider what to get next. Archery, because that's boosted. And a political philosophy, obviously. And... I think I might grab Liang. Maybe. Are we going to remove any features? Yes, we do have one forested hill. We could actually remove that forest. Not a terrible idea. Okay, let's get Magnus then. What's the alternative? Is there an alternative? Well, not really. Probably Magnus, yeah. And then we could get provision. Okay, definitely Magnus. In our capital. There you go. We could use that to try getting some early wonder. We got options. And there's a Spanish scout. We don't know where exactly Spain is right now. 
They could be quite far away, because this is already turn 40. And a Barbarian Scout. Where do you think you're going? Not so fast, buddy. Yeah, don't let him see our city, although he probably will. Next up, probably Trader. We need that for a currency boost anyway. The border should expand on the next turn. Yeah, can we kill that scout? Not with a wounded warrior, probably. Here, another cow. And then I suppose we can improve the volcano tile. Or we can chop that forest to speed something up in our capital. I think that might be I a better plan. The... We could just speed up another settler. That's what I'm thinking. Next up, we could just get currency, because that will be boosted soon enough anyway. Or horseback riding. Do we need irrigation? Not yet, we don't. 10 turns for horseback riding. Well... I don't know about that. Let's actually get currency, because that's about to get boosted anyway. Where do you think you're going? He didn't see our city, so I don't actually know where he's going. We can attack him. Doesn't really matter too much. Let's heal up first and then we'll upgrade. And here's another governor. So now we could grab Liang. We'll want Liang anyway. For our volcano city. Yep, let's get Liang. Here you go. And the third one might be Pingala, actually. Politics is the art of There's the political philosophy. Insane. What does Spain have? Uh, oh, he doesn't have anything just yet. Okay, so in that case, I think I might actually go for Classical Republic. I don't feel like we need oligarchy, because we're not being threatened. And I don't plan going to war in the near future. We don't really have any close neighbors. We definitely want to be going to war. Classical Republic just makes more sense. That way all cities with a district will receive plus one housing and plus one amenity. And we'll get more great person points. Speaking of which, how's our great profit coming along? Uh, let's pick the policies first. Don't need God King anymore. We probably want the Builder bonus. We can also pick up Urban Planning. And then... What else? Probably don't need Discipline anymore. We don't need conscription yet either, it's not like I have a lot of units. Plus two influence per turn. This is fine. Might be better to go for colonization, because we'll want another settler very very soon. Yep, that makes more sense. In fact, let's get another settler right now, literally. And... hold on. Let's go from Halifax, maybe. Here you go. Military tradition, that's only two turns. And just chill. I think I'll wait for whatever is going to be next after the settler. Or we can chop the forest right away. Doesn't really make a huge difference. I'll send the trade route to a city-state. What's the quest in here? Recruit a great merchant. Yeah, let's send the trader here. That's currency boost, and it will build the road. Bravery and I think the Barbarian just the died. So, do we chop this? That will finish the Settler instantly. Might give us a little bit of overflow production. Let's queue something up after, like a granary. Or a campus. I mean, we will obviously need a campus. This is not the best positioning ever for a campus. But I need to get one somewhere. We could get one here, but that might be a better spot for some wonders. There are quite a few wonders that need to be built directly adjacent to the city center. Yes, we'll miss out on one mine, but there are quite a few hills in range. I don't think that's going to be a huge problem. Then we could have a harbor here, a campus here, and then another district right here. That sounds reasonable. So, how about we place a pin? So, this could be a harbor. I'm not saying that we will definitely build a harbor here, but if we build one, it's going to be right there. So, right here. 
And this will be some other district. Any district. Right here. That works. And that's harbor. So that will be the plan. And then we will have a triangle. Okay, let's do that. So campus. And we'll chop the forest. Here. Oh yeah, that will be first before the settler because I didn't... I thought the queue was active. Well, I mean, that's fine, actually. Let's get the campus first and then the settler. It's not like anyone is going to steal that city location. We don't really have any close neighbors, so this is fine. And I don't want to fall behind in science, I just really don't. Especially since we opened with the holy side. Speaking of which, can we get the religion? I think we will get a religion. Probably the second one, whoever this is. It's been a while since I got a religion in any of my Civ 6 games. And now we can grab a builder. Yep, we'll need another one. And I might as well upgrade to an archer. I'm quite lacking this start. And I think I'll try to go for diplomatic victory. Maybe. I would like to give it a shot. So there are a few things we'll need for that. We'll need a lot of city-states, because each city-state we are a suzerain of gives us plus one diplomatic favor per turn. And we'll also want decent production later on in the game, when there are like projects that award diplomatic victory points. Oh, hi. A quadrinim. Uh, let's just send an archer there. He can get some experience, if nothing else. Works for me. Carry on, then. And we enter the classical era. That's going to be normal age, I think. Yes, normal age. And we'll go for the first one. So plus one era score each time we trigger Eureka. And for each building that provides science as base yield. Which we will be getting pretty soon. After the settler this time. I'm liking the start, it's pretty good. And the great people seem to be fine. Not bugged like before. Yeah, there's a great merchant, and the great merchants are still active. Okay, so that bug is gone. Not sure what caused it, probably one of the mods, I don't know. I wasn't using any mods that affected great people. So I have no idea what caused it, but I'm glad to see it's gone. Anyway, here's another sieve. Money. If it... And we got currency. The quadrim seems to be gone. We finished the campus. So now we'll finish the settler and then grab the library. After the settler. And then we should probably try to explore the sea. At least a little bit. And let's research bronze working. Doesn't look like we'll be getting the boost for that. Uh, oh, hold on, maybe we will be. Because I wouldn't mind boosting that. There has to be a barbarian camp right here. Obviously. And yes, selling horses is probably a good idea. Now, since we are going to need a lot of diplomatic favor in the long run, I will probably be buying a lot, as long as AIs are willing to sell. Yeah, doesn't look like she values horses a whole lot. Is this even worth it? Doesn't feel like it's worth it, but fine. I'm feeling generous. So, come back here. Yep, there's the camp. They will probably spawn a raid. Because, yeah, the, poets have been... the scout ran away, unfortunately. Well, I don't think a raid will be able to do a whole lot with this choke point. But we could grab a unit, just in case. It's only three turns. Yeah, the library can wait. Let's just get another unit, just in case. And I do have the policy active, right? Yes, I do. We don't need colonization anymore. Now we can pick up bonus to builders. Especially since I'm actually recruiting a builder right now. Games and recreation. So, hold on. We can still kill the scout, I think. Yep, he's dead. Nice one. Now we just need to get rid of the barbarian camp. And we can actually boost bronze working. We can become the suzerain. What's that city's bonus? Let's take a look. Your districts with a building provide plus one great person point of their type. 
Great writer, artist, and great musician for theater square districts with a building. Okay. That is actually pretty nice. So that will speed up the religion for us. Okay. We might even get the first religion, which blows my mind a little bit. I'm fine with getting any religion. It doesn't have to be first. Uh, okay, promotion. That's on the archer. The warrior should be fine if we fortify. I just don't want him to die, obviously. But I think he will be fine. Seems like it. Uh, yeah, Bronze he's fine. Now we should probably back up. He did not get a promotion yet. Yeah, I really don't want to lose him. Let's just back up. It's not like this guy will be able to do a whole lot. He's basically dead. And then we have Aaron. Let's find out. I'm just going to pick some research. Horseback riding is fine. Let's just use map search. That's always nice and convenient. Zero results. Okay, apparently there's none that we can see. Fine, whatever. Can't say I'm happy about that. But I can live with it. Now, where exactly do we want that city? And we'll probably want an escort for the settler. Even a wounded unit would be fine. I don't want to send it completely unescorted. However, that's also going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And click the bell if you want to receive notifications. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.